What is full mouth restoration? Are you eligible for it? How much time does it take? Which type should you get? Watch on as three top dentists, all of which have their own certified clinics in Turkey, answer your questions. The process of full mouth restoration refers to rebuilding and or replacing all of the teeth in a patient's mouth. If the patient do not have enough bone or implants, so the patient is not a good candidate for the implants. If the patients cannot take care of the implants after the you know, surgery or the restoration, they are not a good candidate for an implant. On the other hand, if the patient has a really problematic health issues, is not a good candidate for the implants because at the end, this is an operation, it is a surgery, there is a blood, you know, soft tissue at the bone here. You know, we should be careful, everything should be ideal for the implant. Actually, if the diabetes is under control, that's not a problem for the implant. But with the smoking, the failure rate can be 10 times bigger than the normal. When we have enough bone, generally the most common procedure is doing all on six procedure. Mm -hmm. Six implant on upper jaw, six implant in lower jaw. Mm -hmm. But sometimes somebody's bones are generally bigger. For example, two meter height men, the jaw is also big. For that kind of patients, we sometimes choose eight implants for upper jaw mm. and six implants in lower jaw. But sometimes we are not that lucky. For all patients, for weak bones, there are not enough bones to place that six implants or eight implants, especially posterior parts in mandible, mm -hmm. lower jaw, or upper jaw in sinus, uh, that anatomical places are limiting us. For that kind of patient, we can also produce it with four implants only. Two in the front, two in the back, angulated, that we call all on four, because three months later, we're gonna place all the crowning on that four implants. Mm. So we decide the program. And the first day, generally, we start the operation or preparing the tooth. The day after it, if we had implants or anything else, we take impressions for temporary teeth. We try to finish the temporary teeth in one week, but generally it takes less, but we say one week. We give that temporary teeth to patients and we see them after three months or six months. Why six months? When patient has weak bone, we need to wait a little more. When we do sinus lifting operations, we need to wait more. So that kind of patients, we generally wait six months, but it's if the bone is good, the patient is healthy enough, we, it's generally enough to wait for three months. Three months after, they come, and in one week, we finish the case. After implant surgery, for example, uh, if there's stitches in the mouth, we advise the patient to do seven or 10 days to do mouth washes. Then stitches can stay clean and cure better. Around 24 hours after surgery also, we advise them not to drink or eat hot things uh, because it makes a bleeding. Also, they do not have to smoke. Get a great smile with dentification. Visit a hand-picked dental clinic today.